we shall now study data entry form part 3 in this module we shall add the drop down list the drop down list for qualifications so uh, let us begin to add it so let us first of all recollect what we have already we have the text box for email id we have a text box for date of birth and now we have to add a text box for uh, now we have to add a drop down list so we'll add the code here but before adding let us see what we need for it this is the drop down list that we shall draw there drop down list will contain display display value and a backend value so for example if we display btech the backend would be a code like b mtech the backend code would be m so to display data in a drop down we need two things per item one is the display value the other is the backend value so this means we need a view model that contains both the things and if you remember in our database we have already created a table table called tbl qualifications base this table has already been created by us let us have a look at the table first go to database explorer click this one or we can okay it will show us both the things so here we have our tbl qualifications base and it has qualification code and description we can view all the records show table data and it contains uh, this data b for b tech m for m tech a for bca so we have to basically display this table in the drop down list so things are very crystal clear that we have to actually read this table and send it as a model uh, to our drop down list uh, in one of our previous lectures we had we had discussed that view bag can be used to store view bag view bag can be used to store data for drop down lists radio button lists because that data is not a data in the true sense it is actually some information that is required to display the data entry form the data for data entry form for this drop down list is not the data of the uh, item that we are discussing at present the data of the item is qualification qualification means just one item out of it whichever is chosen but the data of this drop down is something else one is data of the entire form the other is data of the drop down list the data of these things like drop down list radio button list checkbox list or any small discrete data that is best sent through view bag view bag is ideal for that so what we shall do is we shall send this data from the controller or from the action to this view in a view bag we'll make use of the view bag property we could have sent it in a view model also but that is not the right practice here even that would work but that is not the suitable right practice here the best one is to use a view bag let us do that now so this is our home controller and this is our index method and this is the index on post this is the first thing that we see 
so we must fill a view bag here and read that view bag there so we'll add a property dynamic to the view bag and that will act as data for the drop down list so we'll start typing here we'll query our uh, database here and obtain all the records for tbl qualification space db registration entities in our view bag we are creating a property called qualification list this property will be read from the drop down list there so we are creating a dynamic property called qualification list and here we are filling it ctxt dot tbl qualification basis dot to list of tbl qualification basis so view bag will contain this qualification list as a property here we are executing the query right now this causes the execution also so our final data will be stored here if you do not cause the execution here then execution might occur at the point where you retrieve this data on your view but by that time this database would be closed so it will give error so you should be aware that uh, when these uh, that these uh, queries should be executed here itself in the action method don't postpone their execution to the view you already know when it is executed so view bag is complete it stores a list of all tbl qualification bases and let us now go to our view to add the story for the drop down list this is our registration form where we are going to include the drop down list we already have one for a text box for date of birth so beneath it we can create a tr tag so i'll bring it to view this is a tr tag then td for qualification label is there then we are writing html dot drop down list for that is for which property it is for the qualification property so whatever is the data selected by the user will be posted at the qualification as the qualification property of the object that will ultimately be sent to the home controller here in the http post then we have to associate the list of all qualifications with this drop down list so that is done through an object of the class called select list select list has three arguments the first is the list the second is the value associated with the each object of the list the code for instance this is the value field and then there is a display value associated with it which comes through description these are the two properties on the model or their property on our database table so i i repeat this once again this is a that property of the model okay see it this way view bag dot qualification list is a collection of what it is a collection of tbl qualification base objects this model has two properties one is qualification code the other is description this is a collection of these type of objects and this type has two two properties one property will go to as the value field the other property will go as the description field so description is basically the display value and qualification code is basically the back end value so what is posted to your action method is the 
code. This description is for the viewer to see and code is for the database entry. So if this is clear, then we'll add one validation message for then we'll add one validation mes message for qualification. So qualification is a required field and this validation message is added there. We'll come to this in a we'll come back to this in a moment. So with this let us try to run it and see whether we are getting the desired output or not. This is the form that we have got and yes qualification is properly filled. This is coming from your database now. So BTEC, MTEC, BCA this is coming from your database now and the remaining two fields are already there. For example we can click save and these will fire off like they were doing before. Uh, this is okay as far as a data entry uh, form for the drop down is concerned but uh, it lacks one small thing. What we would want is this is select to appear here. In case you don't want you don't add it but if you want then I'll tell you how to add it. So basically what you'll do is that you will uh, when you are sending the model from there when you are sending the collection from there at that time we will insert this element at the zeroth position and its value should be its uh, description will be set equal to this and the code will be set to an empty so when when a user clicks this save button and the user has this select selected then the value associated would be empty and here it will fire So we are already having items like BTEC, MTEC and BCA. The value associated with this is A, with this is M, this is B and on top of these we will insert one item with the value uh, with the display of select and the associated value as empty. These are B, M, A and an empty. So when the user uh, clicks on this uh, doesn't select anything then the associated value will be empty and clicking on save button will fire this validation so it will serve both our purposes without writing any lengthy code things become very simple so okay let us do that also so we'll, we'll have to add it somewhere here if you see this is our list this is our list let us take it out and create list tbl qualifications base ls is equal to so we have created a separate object and we'll set it here is equal to ls now this is our list this is our list object and we have just separated the two statements and here we'll write the insertion code so we can do it like this ls dot insert is a function the first argument is the index so we'll say the index is 0 comma tbl qualifications base item so what item we are trying to add new tbl qualification base and we are going to add a new tbl qualification base object there and it has two properties description we'll set equal to and comma qualification code can be set as an empty string so basically what we have done is we have uh, isolated this one here and when the list is available to us query is executed and list is available then we insert at the zeroth position a fake item tbl qualifications base with a description of this and qualification code of this once the database has been queried and the list is available with us then we can insert anywhere any new items there are no problems the list is with us we can add elements anywhere and even we can remove also 
so uh, this is the list that is added to us and uh, now we can uh, set viewback dot qualification list is equal to ls so the complete list now consisting of the first item as select and the remaining as mtech btech and bca that will be sent to the drop down list let us run it and verify it so this is as expected a select appears at the top let us click on save to verify whether validation is occurring click on save yes it is occurring bring mtech and it vanishes so this completes how we can fill our drop down list using our story so we are writing using db registration ctxt is equal to new and filling a list and inserting and using the view back to uh, fill that qualification list for us and on the registration form side we made one change for qualification html dot drop down list and uh, the first one specified which property is this binding to and the second one is the data source for the list and in the data source we have the list as the first property and uh, the display uh, and the backend value and the display value so with this most of our story gets completed but here is one drawback let me show you run it let us fill certain values support at hoven dot in and pick a date it's uh, i think it should be in a range now so i have to pick a certain suitable date and now select certain qualification and when i click on save it gives an error can you guess why is it giving error so i'll tell you the answer the answer is that when it was posted back where is the post back code it's here only on this page when it was posted back then we didn't fill the view back and this select list this one had this as null here so what would you do you have to fill it in case model is valid we are in both the cases we are sending it to return view so but in real case if it is valid then we would actually redirect the user to some other place so ideally it should be filled here view back should uh, get the property filled here ideally it should get filled here but uh, since in this case we have did not written any return we'll actually fill the view back at this point so what is the way out should i copy paste this but that will be a bad design practice so best thing is to create a function and then use it so uh, we can remove this code from here and create another function private void get qualification data and paste it there so what this code is going to do is it will fill the view back with qualification list property and we should now call this function here in the index and similarly the same function should be called in the http post uh, post also so we have taken that uh, code into a, a function called get qualification data it will fill the view back property and view back will be as accessed as usual in the in uh, in the view so we have just made two or three small changes and now this form is perfect run it now so it is filled firing let us type a correct email address date of birth we will pick it up to 3 and in the select we will write the tech Uh, could be four or something. It might be otherwise. Click on save, and it works. So the the form. This is the completed form that is uh, we have so far. So you just had to uh, add get qualification data function there, and uh, just fill the drop down list. And now you are aware how to make use of a drop down list.
so we'll close with this one and thanks